Welcome back, fitness enthusiasts. Today, we have a compelling and exclusive update from the one and only Larry Wheels. In a recent YouTube video, Larry candidly shared his harrowing experience after receiving a diagnosis of rhabdomyolysis. Yes, you heard that right, rhabdo. But fear not, because Larry is here with some positive news about his recovery journey. Larry Wheels, the renowned powerlifting sensation, has encountered several health hurdles throughout his career. Recently, in a YouTube video, the fitness influencer shared his experience leading up to the diagnosis of rhabdomyolysis, along with updates on his recovery. Larry Wheels has made a significant impact in the fitness community by showcasing extraordinary displays of strength. Notably, he made headlines when he set the world record for squat bench and deadlift at an impressive 2,275 pounds without using wraps in the 275 pound weight category. However, this record was recently broken by Zach Mayers. Larry is known for his versatility, having competed in various sports like strongman, bodybuilding, and arm wrestling. His aesthetic physique has set him apart, and he proved his potential by winning the top prize in his amateur bodybuilding debut at the 2018 NPC Gold Coast Muscle Classic. After nearly a decade of using performance-enhancing drugs, Wheels decided to quit them following a back injury during contest preparation. He transitioned to testosterone replacement therapy instead. Looking ahead, he focused on the classic physique division as his next endeavor. To learn the ropes of this category, he teamed up with the experienced open veteran, William Bonnack, and the rising sensation, Andrew Jacked, following the 2023 Arnold Classic. Confident in his muscular build and the use of TRT, Larry believes he can hold his own in this division. While he doesn't expect to win the prestigious Sando Trophy, he believes he can be competitive against current four-time champion Chris Bumstead. In preparation for the move to the classic physique category, Larry proudly displayed his impressive bicep peak through two captivating poses. He then tapped into his powerlifting spirit, conquering a remarkable set of 405-pound bench presses for an impressive 22 reps. Continuing to impress, he also crushed a 150-pound inclined dumbbell bench press for 25 reps, showcasing his remarkable physique progress. Pushing himself to the limit, the 28-year-old engaged in a grueling chest training session with the guidance of powerlifting legend C.T. Fletcher, where he demonstrated his strength by performing a 500-pound pause bench press for reps. Larry Wheels expressed his viewpoint that the classic physique category provides greater opportunities for artistic expression compared to the open class, which primarily emphasizes becoming a mass monster. He disclosed his decision to opt for the classic division as a means to mitigate the health risks associated with competing in the open. Additionally, Wheels disclosed that he received a diagnosis of rhabdomyolysis after seeking medical attention at the emergency room last week. In a recent YouTube video, Larry Wheels candidly shared his experience of discovering he had rhabdomyolysis. He recounted feeling lightheaded for approximately a week before realizing the problem. Initially, he feared it might be a heart attack or stroke, possibly linked to his extensive use of PEDs in the past. Several days ago, I was diagnosed with rhabdo, short for rhabdomyolysis. And how it started was a week ago I was experiencing lightheadedness that I couldn't explain. So I'm not diabetic, I don't have a history of having low blood sugar and I was not on any stimulants. I'm not taking insulin. I just couldn't figure out why I was feeling lightheaded, having hot flashes, being dizzy. There was no pain anywhere in my body so it was unexplained. I'm thinking between and the car accident I had about a week prior is what may have triggered the rabbo. Back to how I was feeling, lightheadedness and that brought on anxiety. Why am I feeling this way? I start panicking. I have the fear of the unknown. I don't know what's going on with my body. Short breath, chest pain, that made me a Google doctor and thinking maybe I'm having a heart attack or a stroke because I used PEDs for 10 years straight. All the things going through my head. When I'd take fast sugar I noticed the lightheadedness would go away. So I'm thinking maybe my insulin sensitivity has changed due to the alcohol consumption. But it would only subside for about an hour or two before it would come back. After a workout session with bodybuilder Brian Ansley, Wheels became aware of something amiss in his body and decided to seek medical attention at the emergency room. There, he discovered that his creatine kinase levels were significantly elevated. After the workout with Brian, that's when I felt it come on so strong. I started panicking more than I had the last few days. It came back relentlessly. I was really feeling even more than the gym so much to the point where I felt like I couldn't stand up straight. I was thinking I just consumed about a half gallon of apple juice. My blood sugar shouldn't be an issue right now. That made me panic. That's when I was like, you know what, it's been damn near a week. I'm feeling this way every day all day long waking up this way. I gotta listen to my body. Something is wrong. Let's figure it out. I went to the ER and they ended up diagnosing me with rhabdo. They said my creatine kinase levels, my CK levels, were elevated. Normal is between 50 and 100, I was at 2,500. They said I was at risk for kidney damage if not failure. 
They basically told me you gotta stay in the hospital, take this IV with some fluids, get rehydrated. I did that overnight and they discharged me once my levels dropped enough. Ever since then I've just been overhydrating with noon tabs and lots of water. Larry Wheels provided encouraging news regarding his recovery, stating that he is nearly back to his peak performance. In a recent achievement, he impressively completed 13 reps of a 405-pound incline bench press, demonstrating his progress and determination. Taking the noon tabs, drinking plenty of water, eating every three hours. I've been doing like this and I've been feeling a rapid improvement day by day so much so to the point where yesterday I benched 405 on the incline for 13 reps and that was fantastic. My all-time best with that weight is 14 I believe. As of today, I woke up feeling good, was out in the heat, active, filming, no problem. This is the first day I feel about 90% recovered. I don't feel lightheadedness, anxiety, shortness of breath. I feel like I'm just about back to normal. Larry Wheels is in the process of establishing his inaugural public gym, named Og Gym, in collaboration with coach Ryan Benson from Team Zero Gravity. The gym aims to cater to both powerlifters and bodybuilders, and recently, they unveiled the initial set of equipment for this hybrid fitness facility. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on all of our latest content. Your support means everything to us, and we couldn't do this without you. So once again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.